I think the corn looks really good out here. I am very, very happy with it. Chief is a family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief, trusted, tested, true. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, October 25th, and today is a very important day. You're asking yourself, Laura, what makes today more important than any other day of harvest? And that is because weather is coming. That's right, weather. So the past couple days of harvest have been super nice. Highs 75, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, a little bit of a breeze to keep things dry. This morning, very overcast, very cloudy, high humidity, rain forecasted all afternoon, and snow is on its way. We're supposed to get three inches over the weekend. At least that's what the forecast says. We'll see if that happens. Snow is bad for a harvest. You cannot harvest through snow. So it's very important that we knock out as much as we possibly can before the weather comes in. We still have probably a solid six days left of harvest. We'll see how this goes. Ooh, time for an oil change as soon as harvest is over. Our grain tank is empty. Here's Grant coming in. His truck was fully loaded from last night. So now we have two empty trucks and two empty grain carts. We have a John Deere 16 row corn head on this baby. Hopefully we can knock out some serious acres today. The combine and all the tractors and semi trucks are full of fuel, full of diesel exhaust fluid. Oil has been tracked, tires have been checked, hydraulic fluid level where appropriate has been checked. I did all of that on a live that I did this morning. So I got to take you guys along with me in real time as I was doing all of the morning maintenance on the equipment. That was pretty fun. So if you joined, thank you. I had fun. Today we are in an 80 acre field. So we've gotten about 40 acres, no, oh, maybe 30 acres of it done. And then here's the rest of it. Okay, we got all the internals fired up here. I'm on really low idle right now. I'm going to turn the head on, get everything spinning. And high idle. Put the head down and start harvesting. I think the corn looks really good out here. I am very, very happy with it. Not too shabby. I've gotten a lot of questions about how fast it takes my grain tank to fill up. I can hold a little over 400 bushels. I can probably hold almost 500 bushels, maybe 450. Anyways, I started as empty as I could possibly be into the grain cart at 10, 11 a.m. And I'm going to try to run it at a normal speed as I would. I'm going three miles an hour right now, and that's just about as much as the engine can take in taking and processing this much corn. We'll see how long it takes me to get as full as I can get. Look at all that clean grain. You see that going down the road? That is a Case 8250 with a John Deere 16 row corn head on it. I love seeing the neighbor's rigs driving by. Here's our pivot road that we made so long ago. This corn head just mows down. Wow. It's 10.15 and we are three quarters of the way full. It is 10.18 and I am full, completely full. Any more and I'm going to have serious cab corn. 
Now, of course, it's a little bit different when you're going through draws and you're going slow or you have to wait on trucks. But in theory, if I have enough people and enough equipment and everybody can keep up, I can fill up this whole thing every seven minutes. an hour burning 21 gallons of diesel an hour holy cow this is so satisfying taking out the last chunk of this land that I did so once I do this round so up and back then I'll go over another four passes over there and make a new land We are on the last round of this field. As you can see, we're going down that white line, we'll come back the blue line, and that will be a wrap for this field. Just as a friendly reminder, I know that I film a ton of videos, put a lot of my life out on the internet, but that does not mean or give you permission to contact any of my family members, close or extended, that is never acceptable and never okay. I do not want me sharing my information and life and stuff on the internet to negatively affect them or bother them in any way. So if you're thinking, hmm, maybe I should try to find Laura's dad's phone number on the internet and call him and talk to him, absolutely do not. Never okay. Do not come to my house. Do not look for my address. Do not call me trying to meet up because I will not. Even if you are the nicest person with the best intentions, that's just never gonna happen. I do not allow visitors on my property, so just don't even try. Thank you. We've got Laura in the combine out there. My mom's in the grain cart. And Brandon is in the other grain cart. I'm in the truck today, so is dad and our other truck drivers out there too. Getting something done this morning. I had a few raindrops hit the windshield on the way over here though. And that is all she wrote for this field. Going to completely empty out the combine and then we can move on to the next field. All right, Grant, give us a little status update. We it finished is, one field, we, we finished moved on one, the other one. We're on our last field, but our last field is 660 acres, so it's a big one. But we're it's starting to rain, so we just finished up filling a grain cart and we knew this would happen eventually. It was kind of only a matter of time. We got roughly 60 acres done today before we had to quit. Not too shabby. It's really, really eerie outside. It's not raining. You can see there's just enough humidity and moisture to gather on the leaves and drip on the roof here. So we have the whole lineup out here. Tractor, tractor, grain cart, grain cart, combine, semi-truck, semi-truck, and I just took the last load into town in that semi truck with Gage. Whew. It's kind of a dreary, cozy day. I'm going to wrap some stuff up with the equipment. I'm going to pay bills, clean the house. Oh, I'm seeing kittens scatter across the yard. Hold up. Pepper! What do you think of this pepper, huh? Not the weather for you. What do you say to the audience, little kitten, huh? Oh, runs away. Come here. <laughs> they are so adventurous and will chase after literally anything. Hope you enjoyed today's video. We are shut down for the day here. 
Hopefully we can get back up and running tomorrow. We got a good chunk of acres knocked out today, but like Grant said earlier, we still have a lot to go. So hope you're not bored yet. We will see you in the next one. Almost to 500,000 subscribers. Bye.